Wait. Oh my gosh, you're not gonna, you're not gonna believe it, dude. I caught a dang. Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Vast TV. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button. If you guys have been enjoying the content, got my big bass energy on today, and we're gonna be trying to catch some big bass. If you guys wanna check out any of the merch or the rods, they're actually on the website. Spinning combos, right hand and left hand, all in stock right now. Kickingtheirbass.com. Link could be in the description box down below. Everybody's been asking for this video for like the last two years and I finally decided to do it. So we're gonna be bass fishing today with salt water lures. So I went to Walmart right before this, actually picked up a couple baits. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I got. And we're gonna go out here and try to catch some bass on these salt water lures. We're actually fishing the Ogeechee River today and this is brackish water. So I think we have an opportunity to catch a little bit of everything today but I'm gonna go ahead and show the lures that I picked up and what I'm gonna be starting off with. All right, so the first couple baits that I got, I actually got these gulp shrimp right here. We took them out in the last episode and went saltwater fishing. So I got two packs of these, just white shrimp. I actually got some of these DOA um, rigged shrimps already. So it's got a hook and everything. We're gonna try those out today. Got a pack of swim baits with a chartreuse tail on them. And then lastly, I actually got a saltwater jerk bait. We've been slaying the fish on jerk baits out here. So I was like, man, we gotta pick up an old saltwater jerk bait and see if we can get the job done today. I actually have a bunch of other swim baits and jig heads in my boat already. So that's what we're gonna be rigging them up on. If they're not eating that swim bait, I'll change up the color. But we're gonna go ahead and get it started today. I'm gonna be throwing my kick and spinning combo that I got right here, 30 pound braid with 20 pound fluorocarbon on here. So that's what we're going with. We're gonna see if these fish are gonna bite today and all on out have a good time. We actually got Josh with us, um, that's right behind me. That's uh, Cody's buddy, we, he was in a few of the videos uh, in the past, but we're gonna be trying to get him on some bass today too, which is cool, cause he has not been on the Ogeechee. And I think we're gonna slay him. So let's go ahead and get it started guys. Hope you enjoy this video. Let's get it popping. Another bait I'm gonna throw today, guys, is a fluke, which I got on my rod right now. I'm not gonna start off with this, but I will throw a fluke today because I feel like this is a great hybrid bait. Like it's good for salt water and fresh water. So that's gonna be on the list today. But as far as the first bait, I think I'm just gonna put on a little jig head and I'm probably gonna run this paddle tail. See if we can get a couple fish on it. And uh, once we catch a few, you know, we'll change up the baits. Try to catch them on that shrimp and that jerk bait. All right, boys and girls, we're gonna get it started. It's a little swim bait action, a little jig head. Cast this around. Josh is actually throwing a, just a little rage crawl right now. I told him to just put that on, see if we can get a few fish in the boat, but he'll probably throw some saltwater lures with me here in a bit. I think we're a little early on this tide as well, but that doesn't mean we can't get a few in the boat. As far as early on the tide, I mean, it's as far as like catching fish every cast and just slaying them. I think it's gonna be about an hour or so before that happens. I'm still bound and determined. It's just a flounder, dude. You know? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I used to have a little spinning rod that I would use on docks. That was my. Oh. <laughs> skip in, skip out. I don't think they're gonna bite in here. Uh, I used to have a little spinning rod I used on Lake Lanier for skipping docks, and dude, I used to. I don't even think I could do it anymore because I never fished with a spinning rod, but I used to could skip that thing like a madman. Put a little fluke or a Sanko on there. All right, boys and girls, I've been throwing 
the swim bait. I'm actually going to cut it off. I'm going to put on a scrimp, an old scrimper. We're just waiting on this water to get right. You know, the it's not that the fishing's bad today. It's just the water level's a little high right now. The river, the river today is higher than usual. So I'm going to put me on a scrimp and see if I can get me an old flounder. That's what I'm going with, guys. Old stinky bait. Old white shrimp. How old is it? Uh, about five years old. <laughs> old shrimp. We were just talking about that yesterday. Or I say little. Yeah. Just a little. Little tiny rage crawl. Just a little tiny bass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if that won't catch a flounder, that looks good. I don't know what will. That actually looks good. Watch us get on them today. <laughs> we're really, you know what's funny? We're we're bass fishing today with saltwater baits, but I'm like more intrigued by catching a saltwater fish on it. I was a flounder. I'd be sitting right there. Yeah, I've been fishing for flounder for like 14 years. It's... Okay, I'm just kidding. Flounder. Don't break. Oh, you're a little. Twinkie for that one. Okay. I got a tree, I think. Oh yeah. Fighting good? Yeah, that was the best fight I've had all day. How do you eat it? Kinda of just loaded up on it, you know. The shrimp catches everything. <laughs> Got him hooked good. He's not coming off. First catch of the day. Yeah, as far as like driving the boat, you know, we put in. Look, they keep busting up there, dude. I'm telling you something. Like right up on that bank, something keeps eating. What you'd really need to throw here is a fluke. A weightless. Ooh, what? Whoa. Did you see that boil on me? I wasn't paying attention. It wasn't my line, was it? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is there's bait there. I mean, it would make sense for a fish to be up there. That, oh, look at that, right on my bait. Something. What in the world? What, what is going on here? Is this just bait fish or is it? Never felt the bite or anything. Uh -uh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Was that a big red? It had, it had to have been a massive red, dude. dude. Oh my gosh, I was Cody. Like a jerk bait, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah. That, that was a big red, dog. That was a big red. It missed it. Cody, that was a big red, dude. That's that's what that was too. Oh, we're in the right spot, I guess. That was Jeez. A red or a 10, 15 pound bass. <laughs> Dude. Oh I guess there's fish roaming this. I would, Dude, God. Cody is about to come out of my mouth, dude. It's like there's bait on this flat. There should be some reds roaming. We would have been gone, going crazy if you hooked the big red right there. Oh. What you see?
Wait. Oh my gosh, you're not gonna you're not gonna believe it. You you won't even believe your eyes, dude. I caught a dang flounder, baby! Oh shit. <laughs> dude There is no freaking way I just caught a dang flounder. I didn't even know I had anything on. Oh <laughs> I've been waiting my whole I've been waiting the last two weeks to catch this flounder. And uh Oh my goodness, guys. Look at him. That is so cool. He's a tiny dude, but my first flounder ever. And uh, I didn't even know he was on the hook. I was really expecting a fight. <laughs> he was just coming in. And then I, all of a sudden I noticed my line was going past the boat. I was like, dude, I might have a dang fish. And sure enough, it's a baby flounder, dude. You've been talking about and it so much. The funniest part is today's video is bass fishing with saltwater lures. And I told Cody, I was like, dude, the day that we go bass fishing for salt with saltwater baits is when we're gonna catch the saltwater fish. And I just caught my first flounder ever. What a fish. Pretty little fish. That's a good little piece of meat too, man. Yeah. It'd be good on a little sandwich. Look at that thing, Josh. Yeah, dude, They're so pretty though. Sandwich. Like with the yeah. with the spots on them. Mm -hmm. A pretty fish. And uh Man, that's sweet. His little two eyeballs. Yeah. Oh, that's so dope, dude. Oh, man. When I saw them come up next to the boat, I couldn't even believe it. I was like, there ain't no way. Okay. All right, guys. Get this baby back in the water. Such a weird fish, man. Yeah, they are. Such a weird fish. Give me, give me some, Cody. We have been waiting on that for so long and just hooked one. So to give you guys like a little storyline on what's going on right now we're fishing this big flat we've seen a lot of bait flicker and cody was just casting and he had a big red boil on him at the boat so we might get lucky today and catch like bass red fit we might catch everything um but we're gonna keep it going and see what we can do no no oh that oh oh wait 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 see huh? oh no Oh, the the ghost of Hokkaido okay. Solchichas. <laughs> what was that? It's a random call. Why was a random music playing in the background like that? Russia. <laughs> oh. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Oh, man. Dude, I don't know how you get all these calls with legit people on them because I'd be messing with people all day, dude. Every time I get one, it's like. <laughs> Throw up on that left side of it right there, close as you can get. Kind of work it off, you should bite it. Oh, that was him. That, that was, was him, Gus. Yeah. That was him. See, see how he's up on there? Yeah. Get up, try to get close. Try to get right there where I cast it. He'll bite it. There yeah. you go. Yeah. You're going to catch that fish. Yeah. You got him. Get him, boy. Get him, boy! Yeah. Is it a mud? Yeah, it's it's a bass. Bass. There you go, Josh. Nice little bass. Oh, he's barely hooked too. Yeah, dude, he's about to come off. Caught my fish. <laughs> Sorry. No, I'm glad you got him. Oh, sweet. He's got varicose veins in his mouth. <laughs> okay. He's old. It's an old bass. It's an old, old bass it's right a, there. It's a big old boy. There you go. All right. Your first one. Thank God. So what we're gonna do is I came out here last year and had a couple pretty good days um, in the winter time. I'm gonna go ahead and roll some of that footage. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hate that we didn't get to catch really any bass on the saltwater lures, but that was the purpose of the video. I normally wouldn't post something like this, but with how content's been and how hard it is to get recently, we're just gonna have to put this up here. And I know you guys would rather see this than not a, a video at all. So we're going to go ahead and roll some clips from last year. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Hit the like button if you do. Catch you guys in the next one. Dude, look at the boil. Oh, it's a huge one. Huge bass, dude. Grab that net. Huge bass. This might be my PB out here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yes! Let's go. That is a Yo, monster. That was worth the wait. Oh, that was worth the wait. 
Oh, oh that was worth the wait. On the fluke, homie. They want a moving bait. Look yeah. at that. That's a freaking almost four pounder. That's it right there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> awesome work. Yo. That's all they want. They want the moving bait. Look at that. Gosh, that's why we came out here. Crazy barely hooked. Oh, man. What a way to start the day on the first fish, brother. Look at that. That's one of my biggest out here. That's probably my third. Look how fat he is. That's probably my third biggest Ogeechee bass. And that is a four pound giant on the Ogeechee. This is a freaking hoss for this river. And we're gonna try to catch some more. <laughs> He's a fat guy too, man. That is insane. We're actually gonna put him in the live well. Me and Connor got to get a picture today. We haven't fished in a while. We got one last year. And that's a good one for a picture, brother. That's a, that's a killer fish. So we're gonna throw her in the live well. Put her on this side, but look at that bass. That's a big Ogeechee River bass. Anybody who watches the Ogeechee videos, you guys know that the you know, majority of the fish out here are about a pound. So if you catch one like that, dang good fish. So, uh, oh gosh. Oh, it's a mud fish. It's a mud fish. Oh my god, dude. That thing's actually really big. Some just touch me with their nose and boiled. Not that sink. Dude, is that a bass? It is a bass. Holy cow. Oh my god, dude. There's no way. There's no way this is happening right now. <clears throat> Another freaking monster. What oh is my going gosh. I the just, color on that one too. Dude, he, he, the same, look at that. <laughs> what is going on, brother? I'm sorry, Connor, I feel so bad. Oh, I'm dude, trying to. Not. I'm just, hey, I'm just out here to break the rust off. <laughs> dude, we're gonna have a good day, bro. We still got a few hours. We, we got a little bit of time, bro. That's a three pounder, close to it, with his fat tummy. Yeah. High two, maybe? I said, I think I saw something hit and it with it, his yeah. nose. <laughs> and I stopped it like I did the four pounder and I just lifted up and it felt like weight. Oh, oh God, some mud fish, some mud fish. <laughs> if there's a big one. Oh, don't come off. Dude, he was in the ditch. Nah, I'm good. He, dude, I cast his... Wait, oh, he's a decent one too. Dude, that might be a good pattern, brother. That's a good, that's a freaking good one. Okay. Look at the colors on him, bro. The old mammoth in there, dude. I'm gonna put her over here. <laughs> Big girl might scare. Nah, it's a good one though. It's not, it's not what was biting me earlier, but they're stacked right there. Look at that. It's another good one. It's a good fish though. Bro, they all got nice little guts on them. Yeah, they do. Healthy. This time of year, they're so fat. That's awesome right there, guys. We had some crazy fish just come up and try to eat me multiple times on this fluke. This spot right here, there's something with it. I'm gonna keep casting. There's multiple fish. I, I had a crazy bite on the bank right there. I saw like a four pounder try to eat it. Had just a massive one. Try to eat it while I was dangling. Then I just had this guy eat it. It's always the small ones that get it, man. But look at that pretty fish. Bro, this might be one of those spots where it, they just keep, they're coming out of here and they just keep riding this edge and it might replenish. Oh, I saw that. He's got it. And you got him this time, buddy. <laughs> yes. Let's go. <laughs> dude it counts it touched the boat it touched the boat, it touched the boat. It, you got him ah. you got him though dude i saw your line hop and you, you <laughs> jacked his butt